Trump has spoken to seven candidates so far, White House spokesman Hogan Gidley said, correcting his earlier statement that the president had interviewed eight people. Trump has said he will name a nominee on July 9 to fill the Supreme Court vacancy created by the retirement of Justice Anthony Kennedy. Trump kicked off the interview process on Monday with four candidates. He spoke by phone with Lee on Monday, a spokesman for the senator said on Tuesday. The White House confirmed the call but did not disclose what they discussed. The senator was in Utah at the time of Trump's call, his spokesman Con Carroll said, adding that he knew no further details. Lee and his brother, Utah Supreme Court Justice Thomas Rex Lee, are both on Trump's list of potential nominees. Lee, a conservative lawyer and Tea Party favorite, said last week that he would not say no if Trump asked him to serve on the court as Kennedy's replacement. I started watching Supreme Court arguments for fun when I was 10 years old. So if somebody asked me if I would consider that, I would not say no, Lee, 47, told reporters, according to The Hill. Lee, a member of the Judiciary Committee who was elected to the Senate in 2010, served as a clerk to Supreme Court Justice Judge Samuel Alito. Lee also was an assistant U.S. attorney in Salt Lake City and general counsel to former Utah Governor John Huntsman, as well as serving as a lawyer in private practice. Last week, Senator Ted Cruz, another Republican conservative, said he had urged Trump to consider nominating Lee, telling the Michael Berry Show, a radio program, that Lee would be a justice you could trust to always be faithful to the Constitution and the Bill of Rights.